ladies and gentlemen, the first stage from the 2023 Feast of the Blessed Sacrament, led by James Devere, the Feast President. Hey, good afternoon. My name is Steve Duart, the Chairman of the beautiful Museum of Madeiran Heritage. The Club Mediterranean Sacramento welcomes you to the 107th celebration of the Feast of the Blessed Sacrament. Jim Gavere, this year's Feast President and his committee have been working hard for a year to bring us to celebration. Now please join us this afternoon. We have some great friends here, some new ones and some old friends. The Mayor of this great city of New Bedford, the Honorable John Mitchell. Our Lieutenant Governor of Massachusetts, the Honorable Kim Driscoll. Yeah. Yeah. The Council of Portugal here in New Bedford, or the Jiro Paulo Celeste Lopes. Yeah. And we have dignitaries visiting from Madeira. Our first dignitary is Dr. Pedro Ramos, is the Madeira's Regional Secretary of Health. His Chief of Staff, Miguel Pistana. And joining them from the Journal of Madeira is Agostino Silva. We couldn't do this every year, and we've been doing it for 107 years without the help of the city of New Bedford, uh, Mayor Mitchell, and also the councilors, Ian Abro, Councilor Lodge. Naomi Connie, Councilor Lodge. Shane Burgo, Councilor Lodge. Linda Morad, City Council President. William Brad Markey, Councilor Ward 1. Councilor Ward 5, Scott Lima. Council Award 6, Ryan Pereira. Not here, but in our hearts, also on our, uh, on our committee for, uh, for the museum, and Ward, Ward 2 Council sent her best, Maria Giesta. Council Lodge, Brian Gomes. Senator Mike Rogers. Our dear friend, Representative Tony Cabral. <laughs> Representative Chris Hendricks. <laughs> and honored to have here Congressman Bill Keating. So we, we begin each celebration with a prayer, Deacon Dino Pius and Deacon Scott Perra. Perra. I just asked Scott to come next to me because my English is short, and just in case I do something wrong, <laughs> that's no other way. But uh, I'm going to try my best, and uh, the best thing I can do is never enough as God can do. Jesus Christ did for us and the Holy Spirit do for us in the way the hell is wisdom he guide to through all our lives so at this moment pray naturally because that's all we that's what we are asked to do always pray to God in any circumstances any moments of your life any event pray for Lord that's what we're doing at this moment and we'll ask you dear Lord our Father the source of all life. We ask you that uh, for this event, for this feast, bless all the festeros, we have bless all the people who are going to pass through this feast and uh, bring us your peace, your harmony, and uh, make us more and more stronger in the way on the life for you. We ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ, who is God with you and with the Holy Spirit, in the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. It's my extreme pleasure to introduce 
Dr. Pedro Ramos as he raised the flag of Madeira, the national anthem of Madeira, Portugal, to be sung by Miss Rachel Ferreira Silva. Thank you, Rachel. Now to raise the flag of Portugal, our own Council of Portugal, the for the Honorable Rogério Paulo Silvestri Lopes. And again, let me introduce Miss Rachel Ferreira Silva to sing the Portuguese National Anthem. Heróis do mar, nobre povo, nação valente e imortal, levantai hoje de novo o esplendor de Portugal. Entre as brumas da memória, ó oh pátria, sente-se a voz dos teus egrégios da voz que há de guiar-te a vitória. As armas, as armas sobre a terra, sobre o mar. As armas, as armas pela pátria lutar contra os canhões marchar marchar That was absolutely wonderful. Thank you, thank you, Rachel. Now it's my pleasure to introduce for Maxwell Kane's music. Maxwell Kane to sing our national anthem. And I ask that Mayor John Mitchell raise the American flag for us. Oh, I say, can you see by that dawn's early light what oh, so proudly we hail? At the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, o'er the ramparts we watched, o'er so gallantly streaming, and the rocket rang, the bombs burst in air. Through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, I see the dust and stars spangled banner and wave o'er the land and of the free and the home of the brave.
Thank you, Maxwell, a graduate of 2018 from Greater New Bedford Regional Vocational and a scholarship winner from that year. Um, outstanding, both of you. Thank you so much. Another round of applause for both of you. Now I welcome this year's Feast President, Mr. James Gavere, and his cousin, Vice President, Mr. Dennis Freitas, to place the ceremonial wreath at our Founding Fathers Monument. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Dennis. Our first guest speaker, I was going to save this for down when we go down to the museum in, in our, our next engagement, but because of uh, Mayor John Mitchell and the counselors and the representatives that we, we had here today, we were at the museum awarded an opera grant for $398,000. And because of his his love of the feast and his love of, the, of, of New Bedford, this great city, it's my pleasure to introduce the Honorable Mayor John Mitchell. Thanks everyone. Obrigad. Botat. Come on, is everybody awake or what? Please. So, uh, so, so first off, you know, thanks for the shout out on that, Steve, and uh, I want to add Congressman Bill Keating voted for the ARPA, uh, the American Rescue Plan Act, too, so he, too, deserves a glass of Madeira wine uh, to help with the museum. So, uh, so, hey, it's Feast Week in New Bedford. This is huge. It's huge. So, listen, I have lots of thanks to offer right now, but first of all, I, I'm, I, I have to offer thanks as a father. And you might wonder, like, what are you talking about, right? So my kid, my eldest daughter, goes to school in Washington, D.C. She goes to college down there. And so she told me at the beginning of summer, I'm going to take a job down there, so I'm not going to see you this summer. And I said, what, that, that's it? You're not, no, nothing? I don't get to see my kid? And I get to pay for a rent, too, of course, to boot. Uh, she said, no, no, it's all, it's all good. I'm coming home for the feast, of course. <laughs> so, you know, and that's, it, you're all, we're all familiar with that. That's what the feast is about. It's one big reunion for everybody. And so, look, I, there's, there's lots of work that goes into this event every year. And we're so proud of that work and so impressed with it. I want to thank you, Steve and Jim, for your leadership and making it happen again this year. A uh, round of applause to, for you guys, Dennis. Larry, everybody who worked so hard. Nice touch with the coral colored shirts this year. That's really surely showing your softer side too. <laughs> really well done. Um, I want to, I really want to thank the Feast Committee for, for all of your work in organizing the event, but also generating uh, the funds that make so many other things happen. The good works that you guys do all year long, um, and most especially all the scholarships that you guys give out. We, the, the, there, is, there is a lot of need, a lot of, a lot of uh, high school students who have benefited greatly from your generosity over the years and you keep it going. And so think about that when you're buying a Bafana sandwich or uh, buying some Madeira wine. A little bit of it's gonna go to some kids' college tuition, but you guys make it happen. So I really wanna thank you uh, for that. Uh, I wanna thank, all the folks in the city in official capacities who helped out a great deal. You've all heard a lot about the, the work to keep things safe. Like every public event, you've got to bend over backwards these days to keep it safe. And as you can see, uh, that's, this year is no exception. We've, we've taken it to another level, but for reasons that we're all familiar with now. So I know Chief Oliveira is here, uh, and I just want to thank him and the police department, Captain B. Long, everybody for keeping us safe. The fire department, EMS, everybody for, for all the work they, they do uh, to complement the police department's work here. DPI does a ton of work 
this is your tax dollars at work. I mean, all the stuff that you see here, as well as the lighting, so many other things, uh, they contribute to DFFM. Number of too, way too many people to thank, but I just want to say that work, a lot goes into it. And it's not just because they, they have to do it, not just because they're getting paid to do it, but they want to do it because they're so proud, as we are, of this event. This event is special for lots of ways, uh, more ways than we have time to, to list. Um, but, you know, for me, it is about family, it is about food, it is about fun, it is about, uh, it is about coming together and celebrating the richness of Madeiran culture and Portuguese culture more, more generally. It's a, it's a great time for us, and I think it, it, it's fun because it's different. There are so many cities around the United States that would love to have something like this. And I brag about it. I say it's the biggest ethnic festival in the world. I don't know if I'm right or not, but I keep saying it. But the reality is we're just really proud of the work that's done and that we have something special because there are so many places around the world that are trying to, to generate on their own authenticity, right? The world is so interconnected and there's so much sameness in the world. What's great about the feast is that it remains true to itself. It doesn't try to be something for everybody. It doesn't try to be honky-tonk. There's nothing contrived about it at all. And in this day and age, that makes it, that makes it pretty damn cool. And so I, uh, we've got a good thing going here. I am more than pleased to support it uh, year in, year out. And I know every public official here does as well. We really want to see it continue to succeed. And it doesn't happen without you guys and so many others. On the score of cities that have uh, worked hard to do something authentic, I, it is uh, my pleasure now to introduce to you the former mayor of Salem, Massachusetts, who knows something or two about running the city. And she has taken her talents to Boston, to Beacon Hill, to be the lieutenant governor. And we in New Bedford have already started to benefit from her expertise and her drive and her leadership and um, and she's already a good friend in New Bedford I must say so without any further ado I just want to introduce I think for the first time here at the Feast of the Blessed Sacrament Lieutenant Governor Kim Driscoll What a special event, from one historic port city to another. I am so thrilled to be with all of you. Last year was my first feast. Uh, Ian was kind enough to invite me here, and I said I will never miss it again. And the reason I'll never miss it again is not only is it a 107 year tradition, let's hear that for all of you, the folks who came before you who make this happen every single year, celebrating culture, celebrating community. It's hard work running big events like this. We do a small thing called Halloween in Salem. I said, you can't scare me, right? This is, but it's important that we recognize the folks who are doing the work all year so we can all come together and enjoy from, you know, your hard efforts and, and hard won efforts to make sure this feast happens. And two, it is the largest uh, Portuguese festival in the Commonwealth, in the country, and I think the largest ethnic festival in New England, if not, if not the world, John, if not the world. And I think it speaks to who we are. Massachusetts is unique because we bring people together from different cultures, different places, and we don't forget about our culture. I'm a daughter of an immigrant. My mom is from Trinidad. They do this thing called carnival, right? <laughs> Souped up, uh, dancing, food, music. We don't forget about where we came from, we share it with others. And that's what all of you are doing. The feast is synonymous with New Bedford, and New Bedford is synonymous with the feast, celebrating Portuguese heritage, introducing those of us who are not Portuguese to this amazing culture, giving us a chance to celebrate with you. So I'm here today bringing greetings from myself, Governor, pa Governor Healy, to say how grateful we are that this continues, that we can be a part of it. Today, we are all Portuguese. Let's have a great feast, New Bedford. Thank you, Lieutenant Governor. It's now my pleasure to introduce the Council of Portugal, New Bedford, the Honorable Rogério Paulo Silvestri Lopes. Thank you. Boa tarde. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Fest Annual the Club Madeirense Santíssimo Sacramento. Happy to see all of you in this beautiful afternoon. It is a great pleasure to be here today to celebrate the Fest of the Blessed Sacrament for me the second time. And as always, a lot of people, a lot of food for what I heard, and drinks from Madeira, everything. 
I'd like to thank all the members of the direction for welcoming us here today. I underline that these celebrations are prepared by the community and for the community. On this first day of festivities, I address everyone in my capacity as representative of the Portuguese government for this region, where I am for the second time, that I'm happy and honored to celebrate it with the Portuguese community of this area. To celebrate this festivity in New Bedford is to celebrate one of the most symbolic dates for all Portuguese families and community living in this region. When we celebrate this festivity so well organized by the Club Madeirense and knowing that all proceed benefits are for the scholarship found, it is for me and I think for all of us an honor to participate actively in this event. When we celebrate this festivity, we celebrate the Portuguese communities abroad, in this case, the Madeira heritage. Those like you who love and respect the country you live in, but didn't lose your connection to where it all began, honoring your Portuguese heritage. Finally, when we celebrate this festivity, we think of those who made it possible, your parents, grandparents, or great parents, that made that sacrifice coming to a different country looking for new opportunities, hoping for a better life, but most of all, to fulfill dreams and give a brighter future to their children and grandchildren. Today, on this festivity, we are all alike, Portuguese or Americans or Portuguese descendants. Should take a moment to ponder and pay tribute and homage to them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Council. Now it's my honor to introduce each year we receive guests from Madeira, and this year on a return visit, it's my proud honor to introduce Dr. Pedro Ramos, Madeira's Regional Secretary of Health. Dr. Ramos. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a real pleasure and an honor being here for the third time. The first one was in 1991 with family the second time in 2018 with Larry, and uh, this year, 2023, with uh, James Goveia and Dennis Faith and Timothy Rodriguez, the president of the club. I would like to start to uh, give uh, special greetings to our mayor, John Mitchell. Okay. <laughs> Kim Driscoll, uh, the senators, Bill Keating and uh, Michael Rodriguez, the Council of Portuguese, Rogério Lopes, the, our deputy Tony Cabral, our priests, Padre Reis and uh, Padre Marcel Silva, our conciliar of the diaspora from Madeira, Lionel Freitas, our festeiros, our festeiros, the 32 for this year. It's a real pleasure being, being here. Uh, I have a message from the president of the government of Madeira, Miguel Albuquerque, and this message has three words. I will say first in Portuguese and then in English. The first word is to hug, abraçar. The second word is to agradecer. And the third word is incentivar. So it means that when we find for another time the family, and I am speaking the family of Madeira of New Bedford, we need to hug. Hi, that's what that's what we do when we when we have uh, when we are with family. So the second word is greetings because whatever, what are you done since more than 100 years of history and it's a legacy that we need to respect in honor of those men behind me, Manuel Sebastião, Manuel Coutinho, Manuel Duarte and Manuel Agrela. We are celebrating the 107th anniversary of the Sacramento Feast in uh, New Bedford. This feast, we celebrate our soul, our traditional, our customs, our gastronomy, our poncha, our Madeira wine, our carne vinha de alhos, everything that comes from Madeira. So, uh, the message is to hug, to send special greetings to all of you, and to continue empowerment this community, and the presence of the, the mayor, John Mitchell, 
Lieutenant Kim Driscoll, the senators, the congressmen. It is a sign of recognition for what this community has been done for more than a hundred years in this state. So we are very proud of this community. My president is very proud of the, all the immigrants that are spreading all over the world. But this, this is the biggest feast, the biggest arrayal from Madeira. So thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here again. God bless you all. Thank you, Dr. Reba. It's now my pleasure to introduce Congressman Keating. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, all of you. As we look out at the club and all their hard work, I'm reminded from other years, the day the feast ends, they start preparing for the next year, the very next day. Uh, you've heard from Mayor Mitchell, and our counselors, you heard from our state senators, state representatives, you heard from our lieutenant governor. I'm here to just offer the greetings of the United States of America to all the officials here. The bond we have uh, extends to very great lengths and great strengths. We have no better ally uh, than Portugal. Anytime we are in need as a country, they have never said no. We've stood together, and as we gather together and celebrate particularly uh, parts of Madeira and representative of all of Portuguese region, I think that we have to remind it of this. Uh, we just left the celebration in the church, and the priest there said in his homily, look at the tabernacle. He said, look at the tabernacle and look at the sacrifice. That means life. And what better expression of life than this festival? Uh, it's family, it's friends, it's good food, a little bit of Madeira wine, uh, and it's coming together as a community that makes us proud. When I travel anywhere in Europe, when I go to Portugal, and I say I represent New Bedford, everyone knows where that is, and they have great pride in that. Uh, so I want to just thank all of you for being here. Uh, it's a great union. This is a wonderful community, uh, and I hope the people visiting can enjoy more than just a few days. Thank you. So now it's my pleasure to introduce the president of Club Mediterranean of Sacramento, Mr. Timothy Rodericks. Nice shoes. Yeah, you like my shoes? Ah, viva Madeira. <laughs> All right, everybody. On behalf of Club Mediterranean of Sacramento Incorporated, we would like to welcome everyone, distinguished guests, community, everyone from New Bedford. Uh, we'd like to thank everyone for coming and sharing in this Madeiran heritage uh, tradition that all of our families have been doing this for 107 times. So on, on behalf of the club, thank you for coming and enjoy the feast. And these in these four days, we're all Madeiran. Thank you, Tim. Now I'd like to introduce uh, Council Lodge and club member Ian Abreu for a special presentation. Ian? Dennis and Jimmy want to come forward. There's so much I want to say, but I think you've heard from enough politicians today, right? Can I get it all right on that? Yeah? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to stick to the script, I promise, okay? Because I think we're all hungry and thirsty, aren't we? Yeah. All right, we're going to do it. With that being said, it's my honor to deliver a New Bedford City Council official resolution to my dear friends Jimmy Govea and Dennis Freitas on behalf of the New Bedford City Council. It's an official resolution, be it hereby known to all, that the City Council of New Bedford, Massachusetts hereby offers its sincerest congratulations to the Feast of the Blessed Sacrament Committee in recognition of your tireless work and dedication to your community and our heritage, and to the 107th Feast of the Blessed Sacrament. The entire citizenry extends its very best wishes on this memorable occasion and expresses the hope for continued good fortune given on this, the third day of August, 2023, by the City Council President, Linda Morad, the Ward 2 Councilor who sends her regrets, Maria Giesta, Myself, Counselor at Large and First Vice President Ian Abreu, Counselor at Large Shane Burgo, Ward One Counselor William Brad Markey, 
Counselor at Large Naomi R. A. Carney, Wood Six Counselor Ryan Pereira, and Counselor at Large Brian K. Gomes. Brothers, congratulations. God oh. bless you. Thank you, Ian and city councilors. Uh, one person I'd like to recognize, Leonel Teixeira. Leonel is our liaison and helps us with getting with the with their visitors and everything we do. So, Leonel, thank you so much. And without further ado, it's my pleasure to introduce the president of the 2023 Feast of the Blessed Sacrament, the Start the Feast, James Gavea. <laughs> Thank you, thank you everybody, uh, state and local dignitaries, Mr. Mayor, Lieutenant Governor, Congressman, and all the local uh, Congress pe and Council people. Thank you so much for open, coming into the opening day today. It's been a long year. Uh, it's come down to this, this moment, this minute. Um, I've stage, we're all ready to go. Great group of guys. And I gotta tell you, I served many times, and I've never had such a group like this. Jimmy. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Serving my cousin Dennis, such an honor, such a privilege. Uh, I'll save the rest for, for, for later on. <laughs> we got work to do, we got partying to do. So, without further ado, I want to announce the largest feast in the world, the 107th Feast of the Blessed Sacrament, now open. <laughs> So, Jack, this is your first ever Madeira Feast. What do you think so far? You're not sure. What about... You say, hi, everybody. Hi, New Bedford. Hi, New Bedford Cable Network. I'm having a blast at my first feast. I ate all of Dad's Caserlo sandwich. And now I'm ready for bedtime. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here for the 107th anniversary of the Feast of the Blessed Sacrament. Uh, it's always a great time. I've been here many, many years uh, of my life. I, I, it's a great part of a uh, great tradition here in New Bedford, and I'm so happy to be a city councilor to celebrate it with many of my constituents and all the people here in New Bedford. So, Bush Fashters, and have a great time. Okay, over here we're cooking beef farnish. It's a marinated pork. Very, very good, and it's cooked with love. All these people here work, they work with their hearts. They don't work for money, it's all volunteers, which is what makes it even better. We also cook linguisa here, hamburgers, hot dogs, uh, french fries, and uh, the best food right here, but I can number 12. What I love most about the feast is really how welcoming and loving it is. Um, I grew up with a very Portuguese family, mixed between Portuguese and Puerto Rican, and I don't know, every year I come here it's always awesome. I missed it for the past four years due to COVID, and I was away for college, so this is my first year back. I'm very excited to be here. I love it so much. What I love about the feast, I love everybody actually gets to come together about the culture and the Portuguese culture. And everybody just has a good time, and it's a lot of smiles and a lot of laughs.
Mineiras. Porque afinal és como eu, e o limite também do céu. Fazer o quê? Vou beijar, vou dançar, vou matar de casar toda a noite. Toda a noite, você! Vou beijar, vou dançar, vou matar de casar toda a noite. Welcome to New Bedford to the Feast of the Blessed Sacrament number 107. You are here tonight in Baraka number 9, the Melasada booth. Come this way. We're going to take you over here. You're going to see where all the magic happens. Ignore these people. They're all very busy. They're all very busy. This man right here, Paul Stocky, he is very busy. He is doing the secret ingredients. Don't even look in there. Oh my God. It's a secret here in New Bedford. You can't see what goes into Melasada. Oh, your, your cardiac doctor will not let you eat those. Follow me right over here. Once we mix the dough, it goes into this proof box that he is guarding. Kevin, right here, Montero, he guards the proof box. That's about all he does. But that's what he does well. Then we come on over here. Come this way. Come eat the lovely stretchers of the fascia. Once the dough is proofed, it is the pan is put right over here and these lovely stretchers just like everybody in this booth who volunteers their time for four solid days they stretch the dough this is Kim Westgate resident of Fairhaven Massachusetts but you know she's got New Bedford roots we'll take her she's gonna stretch that and she's gonna drop it right here into the oil you watch this this is oh look at that look at that she is a professional stretcher oh my goodness perfect near perfection then from here we have these guys they pull it right out of the hot steaming oil this is Jose Greg Soul from New Jersey this is Denise Fleming from Fairhaven Cameron Woods currently living in Newport but a native of New Bedford putting the melasada onto a a drying pan to get the grease off we're gonna try to get through this crowd walk with me please right this way Make sure you come down to the feast one of these nights. Get in line, buy your tickets. You're going to have a wonderful time, I guarantee it. This is Sherry Stocky right here, a resident of a Kushnet, but also with New Bedford Roots. We move this way. The Melisada goes from the drain board right there. See that? Oh my God, they look delicious. Golden brown, crispy, perfect. We move those Melisadas from the drain board right over here to take some of the grease off and to diminish the heat so we don't burn our hands right over here into these plastic bins full of sugar this is an operation a timeless operation folks it doesn't change much we sugar the melasadas and then it comes right over here to our lovely sales people who sell right out the window i just want to be clear everybody in this booth volunteers their time in the name of their family and their uh, recognition of their cultural heritage here in portugal this is from portugal this is Madeline Betancourt, longtime resident of New Bedford, a Madeiran woman. Someday, this woman right here is probably going to serve as a fish data for the feast. We hope. We hope someday. But thank you very much for taking the time to come to our booth, and please be sure to visit the Feast of the Blessed Sacrament. The money from this feast funds so many organizations here in New Bedford and does wonderful for charity work in the community. Thank you, and I hope to see you here, especially at Baraka 9 for a melasada. Show them the beautiful melasada before it goes out the window. Oh my goodness, look at that. I went to the festival, and what did I eat?
my favorite part of the feast. My favorite part is this is my first time ever attending. So I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm going to look around. I have a lot of learning to do today. I am here with my girlfriend, Kat, from the police department. She fits nicely right under my shoulder. And I, we're, we're gonna, she's showing me around. So this is my first time, so I've got a good guide. What do you have to show me? About what? The, I've never been here before. What are you gonna well, show me? Music, of course. Uh, all the delicious food. Wine. Camaraderie. And fun. <laughs> <laughs> New Bedford, Massachusetts, at a feast. It comes every year. My name is Bonnie Jean. Hey, I just want to say God bless everybody in the world. Amen. Welcome to the Portuguese feast in North End, New England. New Bedford. I'm here with my son, Steven. Steven, say hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Say hi, girls. Hi. Hi there. I've got the best margarita. I don't care if it costs me eight stamps. It's delicious. I thank you, New Bedford, for always doing this every year for all us Portuguese people and beyond. Hey, it's Paul Santos. So glad to be here at the 107th. Feast of the Blessed Sacrament. Hey, how are you? I'm good. What's your name? Jenny Bach. Oh, how are you enjoying the feast today? I'm loving it. I got a sandwich. I got my friends. I'm loving it. Is that your husband? No, he's not my husband. My husband's working. <laughs> oh, okay. That's your brother? No. Oh, not your brother either. Friend. Oh, just a friend. Yeah. Okay. I'm chaperone. Chaperone. Okay. Chaperone. He's this, my protector. You understand we're being recorded right now. I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> All right. Well. Nice to meet yeah, you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Have a great night. You too. All right. All right. All right. I wasn't expecting to do interviews there. That's okay. Kamala Sadas. I waited all the week, all year, the Kamala Sadas. I come out down every Thursday night to get the Kamala Sadas. And, you know, it's nothing like the bride to bride dough. The 107th. Feast of the Blessed Sacrament, Festa! Show 
We're standing here with Kim LaPlante, who is enjoying the Feast of the Blessed Sacrament. So let me ask you a question. You already got the Madeira hat, you got the shirt. I can tell you're really feeling the spirit of Always. this feast. Why is that? We come to this feast every year. We spend three or four days here. We enjoy the bands, the food, the atmosphere, the community, everything about it. So we're talking about the food. The food. We're talking about the music. The music. Now wait a minute, now wait a minute. What about the Madeira wine? The Madeira wine? <laughs> How can we forget the Madeira wine? Well, I'll tell you, I, <laughs> I'm i the designated driver, but everybody I'm with enjoys the Madeira wine. <laughs> well, so maybe tomorrow night, somebody else can be the designated driver and you don't have to be. You never know. <laughs> if I was gonna, if something would tempt me, it would be the Madeira wine. <laughs> How long have you been coming to the feast? Oh, for a long time. But the last five years I've been away, I didn't come here. I always come here for the barbecue meal and meet a lot of people that you don't have a chance to see. That's a great time. I'm originally from the Azores. I was born on the island of Fayal. We have our traditions too. And I'm very happy to be here uh, to help out the Madeira tradition. I live in Uva for, for about six years already. So what's your favorite part of the feast? Well, I like the music and I like the barbecue meat. And of course, I'm drinking beer, but I like the Madeira wine. But you gotta be careful because it kicks on you. I love the Madeira wine at this Portuguese feast. We've been going to it for like 40 years. It's amazing, all the people you meet. It's a great time. You're going to come on down to New Bedford, everybody. So our cousins here just flew in from Iowa to come to their first feast. So we're excited to show them all we have to offer in New Bedford. My favorite part of the feast is the interaction with all the friends of the past and of the new. What's your favorite part of the feast? Making the meat on the stick. <laughs> first time. This is our first feast, so I don't know yet. Same here. I'm a feast virgin. This is Marcus Waters reporting live here from the Portuguese Feast, baby. Opening night, Thursday. Woo! I'm over here by the Cottage Spit barbecue pit. Everybody's grilling up. Smells like a million bucks. Hey, make sure you heavily salt that. Uh, uh, rotate it, rotate it. a girl. I got to coach them up. Every now and then, you got to coach them up. All right, they're doing their thing. You might want to do a little bit more, do a little extra. Put some peppers, some onions, you already know, baby. Tell us what your secret recipe is for making the best kind of spit in the place. Uh, the best kind of spit is you need the, the onions, uh, the, the pepper. I got red pepper, yellow pepper, and green pepper. So I use them all. Do you put any special seasonings on it? A uh, little salt, salt and pepper, and garlic. Oh, that's it, huh? That's it. Okay. This is the best one, you say. So no, no beer on it? Do you pour beer on it at all? Uh, we do pour a little white wine when we start cooking it. 
We marinate with a little bit of white wine. All right. Enjoy. It looks great. My name's Ian Trombley. Uh, my wife Jessica, and this is Portia B. Trombley. Uh, we're Freitas's, actually from Madeira. I served on the committee a couple years ago before COVID, um, but excited to have uh, my daughter, who's one, just almost uh, 13 months, but this is her second feast of her life. So uh, we're all used to this as a family tradition and love to keep this going. Just having a great, great time here. It's just meeting a lot of good friends, random people I ain't seen in years and it's hit doing what it does for everybody a fun time and a great evening what a what a yearly tradition been here coming here for 50 years my wife laurie my brother ron look at trisha debbie wave hey we're all having a good time the food's great the drinks are even better and we're looking forward to the band tonight it's going to be great thursday night's always a big night to open things up and uh and, and I'm making new friends right here. Look at the beautiful girls here. Smile for the camera, there we go. My favorite part of the feast is being here with my family and friends and working. That's what it means to me. It means everything. My favorite part is just meeting everybody, that, all the people that you don't see for a long time and then you get to see them. It feels great.
Thank you. Did you know that you can watch any of New Bedford Cable Network shows anytime, anywhere on all of your mobile devices? How, you may ask? Just log on to nbcablenetwork.com and BAM! You have all three channels at your fingertips. Public, educational, and government access. Here, you can view our program schedules, watch our channel's live broadcasts, or search for a particular program in our vast library of shows. Last year alone, New Bedford Cable Network produced over 500 shows, and nearly all of them are available online at nbcablenetwork.com. Not only can you stay up to date with what's happening in your local government and schools, but also dive into some of New Bedford Cable Network's original award-winning programs. So check us out at nbcablenetwork.com. If you need to do something to feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive. Don't drive buzzed. <laughs>